is underwater mining, something that we should expect to see a lot in the future. We don't have a shortage of rare earths in the world. We have a shortage of rare earths processing because it's a byproduct of almost every type of mineral. On the deep seabed, there are things called uh, mineral nodules that in theory you can vacuum up, bring to the surface, and process. And they have a much higher concentration of specific trace metals that currently we have identified as being in shortage. So, of course, rare earths are in that category. Cobalt's in that category. We seem to have chronic shortages of, and this could be potentially a new source. These nodules, as a rule, do hold higher concentrations of the things that we're after, sometimes as much as 20 times as concentrated as we get with from more conventional mining. And however, the technology to recover them is at best questionable. Uh, you're typically talking about going down to a seabed a mile below the surface. You then need to grab all the things that you need, which basically means just dredging the subsurface in a way that is just environmentally catastrophic. But uh, from an economics and physics point of view, then you have to bring the stuff up to the surface to get out on a boat where you separate it from all the sludge that you just pumped. And then you have to ultimately get it somewhere else for processing anyway. So at the moment, the technology has not evolved far enough for anything about this process to be economically viable. So it's interesting, but just the physics of recovery are really hard. Doesn't solve the processing problem. Right now, most rare earths, all rare earths really, are a byproduct of other mineral production. Zinc, silver, aluminum, for example. And so you basically have your first stage processing where you pull out the aluminum that you need or the silicon that you need or the silver that you're after and you're left with something called tailings. And then those tailings go to a second facility to be processed to get the rare earths or similar materials. If you're gonna do subsea mining, you're doing the same thing, you just don't have that first stage. So instead of having a silver mine where most of the income comes from silver, and then you get a kick on rarers on the back end, you now have this stuff that doesn't have much of that first material in it, and you still have to go through the process of making basically tailings, getting rid of those stuff you don't want. But this time you're not getting any income from that, and then you're left with a more concentrated form that you go on and do your rare earth processing for. So the only way that I see for rare earths or if they're like to work from a subsea sort of recovery is if the price that we pay for these things goes up by a factor of 100. And the only way that happens is if everything else shuts down anyway. But the bottom line for all of these questions comes down to processing.